How do we exalt and glorify your holy name? The great and mighty God, we worship you. We enjoy you once again for the opportunity to gather in your house. Please accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. We do not take this grace for granted, Lord. We ask that we lift up our voices to give you praise and worship tonight. Lord, please accept our praise in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening to the Father for praise. Oh Jesus, come for me too. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. Yes, I praise you, Lord. You are God. I praise.
Jesus. Let joblessness receive solution. Let barrenness receive solution. Let, let academic failure receive solution. Let every form of yoke be broken. Let every form of limitation be broken. In the name of Jesus, begin to send your help. Father, send your help. Father, send your help. Father, send your help. Let every form of marital barrier. Let you pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, begin to send your help.
bless him in your name. I just want you to begin to worship the name of God. Just worship him.
say, Father, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, I will praise you. With all my words, with all that I have, with all that I am, I will praise you. Praise you. Praise you. With all my heart, I will praise you. I will seek you. I will serve you. I will love you. It's a commitment. That song is a commitment. It's like you are renewing your vow. It's like you are renewing your agreement with him.
Genesis chapter 18, verse 1, the Bible said, And the Lord appeared unto him in the plain of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. Tonight, as you partake of this communion, the Lord will appear to you. I said, the Lord will appear to you. And he lifted up his eyes and looked. And lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet with them, to meet them from the tent door, and bowed himself towards the ground, and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. So Abraham was begging for communion. He was saying, Come, come and die with me, Lord. I want to eat with you. And let a little water, I pray you, be fetched, and wash your feet and rest yourself under the tree and i will fetch a motion of bread and comfort ye your hearts look at it he's looking for a way to comfort the heart of god to comfort the heart of god after that ye shall pass on for dear on are ye come to your servant and they said so do as thou hast said whatever you said tonight the Lord said, so do as you have said. That means as you ask the Lord tonight, he will answer your prayer. I said, I will, as you ask the Lord tonight, he will answer your prayer. And Abraham hastened unto the tent, unto, unto, unto the tent, unto Sarah, and said, make ready quickly three measures of fine meal. Knead the knit it and make cakes upon the, the earth. And Abraham ran unto the head and fetched a calf tender and good he offered the best because he was going to commune with god he offered the best calf and so tonight offer the best of your heart offer the best of your offering offer the best of your of your giving tonight and and gave it unto a young man and he hastened it to dress it and he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them and set it before them and he stood by under the tree and they did eat imagine a, a fellow human mortar watching a mortar watching a mortar eating 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 physical food and they said unto him where is sarah this is where we are going that where is sarah thy wife and he said behold in the tent and he said i will certainly return to thee according to the time of life i thought somebody would say amen to God. please be alive for the few minutes that you are here be alive be alive this is where we are going to read it again and he said unto him where is sarah thy wife and he said behold in the tent and i and he said i will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life i tell somebody who say louder amen i know sarah thy wife shall have a son and sarah had it in the tent door which was behind him and now abraham and sarah were old and well stricken in age and he ceased to be with sarah after the manner of woman therefore sarah laughed within and said god will make you laugh he said, I'm saying, after I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure? My Lord being old also. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore the Sarah laughed, saying, Shall I of surety bear a child which am old? I pray for you, whatever thing that is written of, as you partake of the communion tonight. Yes, those things will come back to life. Any case that men are close, any good glorious and wonderful case that has been close concerning you, or maybe project or idea that you have abandoned tonight, day by reason of this coming up, they will come back to life. Yeah. And he said, is there anything too hard for the Lord? I want you to ask your labor three times. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Three times. At the time appointed, again, look at it, that is the word of God to somebody. At the time appointed, God will, God will return on today. Yeah. To the time of life, Sarah shall have a son. Praise the Lord. The benefit of communion with God. Brethren, it is a privilege to die with the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. It's an honor that has been accorded us by the blood of Jesus that we are able to eat in the same table with the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. I remember the last time we had this communion and we talked about the banquet. How many of us remember? The banquet, yes. So benefits of communion with God. Number one, divine visitation. When you commune with God in a night like this, you see, it's not about the population. It is you, it's, you see, what I perceive tonight is that I saw a multitude of people. 
and I saw them is like pressing forward out of the crowd, like that woman with the issue of love. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. So I saw a multitude of people sitting down here, and it's like you know, there's you know, people pressing out of the crowd to come and take up the communion tonight. Now, what that means is that what you are saying is that Lord, visit me. Remember, Abraham was sitting down. I remember that God had promised him a long time ago from the book of Genesis chapter 12. The, the Lord had promised him when he called him and said, I'm going to give you a child and so on. But that has not actually come to pass. Look at chapter 18. Now, divine visitation. Tonight, the Lord will visit you. Yeah. I said, I should partake of the communion tonight. The Lord will visit you. Yeah. Now, to, call that, to confirm that again, when Jesus Christ rose up from the grave, the Bible says that he appeared to the disciples. In fact, for 40 days, with infallible proof, he was with the disciples, eating with them day and night. They were together. They were together. So, divine visitation tonight, the Lord will visit you. Yeah. By this reason of this communion, you will enjoy divine visitation. Yeah. Number two, number two, number two, benefit of communion with God. Number two is answers to prayer. Your prayers are answered. Yeah. I say your prayers are answered. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, why am I so sure? Because there is nothing too hard for my God. Nothing. Tell me one thing that is too hard for him. Nothing. Your own is believe. Take every step that the Lord said takes. Don't worry. Don't be looking backward. You are taking steps, you say you are working with God. You see, you can't be taking steps back, you know, it's just like I'm taking a step now. As I'm taking a step, I say that I'm looking back, what will happen? I'm likely going to fall. That is what is happening to the life of believers. When you don't believe the word of God, when the word of God has come to you, and God says, believe my word, you are taking a step forward, and you are taking a step backward. That will not be a portion as from tonight. I say that will not be a portion as from tonight. So God said, he, you know, he, you know, he said, he said, according to the time of life. That means, brethren, when you when we talk about the benefit of, of, of communion with God, there is a time for God to visit His people, and tonight will be your own night. I said, tonight will be your own night. You know, um, there was uh, what thing I believe that was last week or this week. I can't remember simply, but I wrote it down. You know, it was just like the kind of visitation that I had. Uh, about eight years ago, when I was deciding whether to go ahead with my marriage at that time or not. So that visitation was twice. The first one, I could not sleep. I was even begging the Lord, I said, please let me sleep. And for a long time, I've been saying, Lord, I want to see that kind of visitation again. And last week, there were this, those kind of visitation twice. I prayed for it and I said, God, we answer your prayer. Amen. I stand here by the grace of God telling you something. It's not, I'm not just preaching to you, I'm telling you the thing that I experience daily. I said tonight will be your night of answer prayer. Amen. And when the Lord visits you, what will happen to you? There will be laughter. Amen. I said there will be laughter. Amen. As you take this communion, there will be laughter. Amen. Anything making you to be sad in the past or any member of your family, this communion tonight will bring laughter. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three. Amen. Number three. Benefit of communion with God. Now, look at number three, divine secret. Divine secret. Access to divine secret. Look at what the Bible says in verse 17. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham the things, the, the, that things which I do? So when you commune with God, when you, when, you, when you partake of the Holy Communion, even as what we are about to do tonight, what we, what we are simply doing is that God is giving you access to divine secret. Things you never know before. Remember, there is nothing too hard for God. There is nothing too hard for God. It doesn't matter how long that document has been pending with God. It doesn't matter how long that issue has been pending. Tonight, God will visit you. Amen. I said, in this way, you will testify. Amen. This way, you will testify. Amen. Why? Because praise will bring you divine secret. Praise brings you divine secret. When you praise God, you begin to have access to, you know, deeper secrets of the Almighty God. God said, can I have anything from Abraham? That means whatever thing God is said to do in your life, He will reveal them to you. Amen. I say, He will reveal them to you. He will reveal them to you. There are series of visitations in my lifetime that I will not forget. Another one that I will not forget was the day we were doing the baby christening of our daughter. The day, the day, the day she we do the baby christening. After the baby christening in the morning, I was so happy and I slept. And I saw the Lord walk into my room in, you know, in white apparel. 
and he gave me a book. Brethren, there are some visitations that I can never forget in my life. For as long as I'm alive, I remember the date, I remember the location. Tonight I say you will have that kind of visitation. And you see, when it didn't happen, and I later told my wife, and my wife said, oh, you didn't explain it, like, you didn't tell me like this. I said, well, this is what the visitation is. So, brethren, you see, you will have access to God will tell you things that is about to happen in your life two years. When that, is, you see, the result of that visitation, when it later came, I was again sharing with my wife, I said, this was God has shown this before. So, brethren, I look at what the Bible also says in the book of Abel. He said, anything that I will do, he said, God will always show it to his people. So, brethren, one of the benefits we enjoy by working with the Lord is that you have access to the divine secret. And that is what this communion will do to you tonight. Amen. I said, secret that will change your life. Secret that will move you to the next level. You might be asking, God, what, is, what do you want to make out of my life? You might be saying, well, Lord, what will happen to my life in five years from now? After school, what will happen? Lord, what will happen to me, my little Tell your neighbor, God have everything in place. Relax your mind. God has everything in place. Don't tell your neighbor, don't worry yourself. Don't stress yourself. If that your neighbor there, sister, if so she's sleeping, tell her that not to stress herself. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. So, brethren, relax. There's nothing too hard for God. Maritally, financially, your children, God has everything in place. Tell yourself, I will not stress myself. Because God has everything in place for me. Now, now, lastly, number four. Number four. Now, we are looking at benefits of communion with God. When you eat with God, what do you get out of it? Number four. But you become partaker of the new covenant. You may talk, you become partaker of the new covenant. Now, turn your Bible with me to the book of um, Luke. Let's look at Luke. 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 The book of Luke, chapter twenty-two, verse fourteen. Luke chapter twenty-two. Verse 14. And when the hour was come, he was sat, I mean, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him, and he said unto them, With desire have I desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will no more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God of God. Look at verse 17. And he took the cup, he gave thanks, and said, Take this and divide it among yourself. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the wine until the kingdom of God shall come. And then he went on and he said, And he took the bread and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them, saying, This is this is my body which is broken for you. This do a remembrance of me. So when we partake of the communion, we are actually remembering what the Lord has done. He said, Likewise, also they come after supper, saying, This is the this this cup is the new testament, a new covenant in my blood, which is shared for you, and so on. So, brethren, one of the benefits you you know you derive from, from communion with God is that you become partaker of the new, te you know, new testament, new covenant. And I pray for you tonight that any contrary thing that may be speaking in your life, tonight the blood of Jesus, this communion can sue them. I say anything contrary speaking from your background, that's one of the things you are going to make as your prayer once you once we administer the communion. Whatever the contrary voices, contrary and writing, anything that may be contrary to your background, to your destiny, by the reason of this communion tonight, they are cancelled. In the name of Jesus, rise up on your feet, rise up on your feet. Where are mama? Where are my soul? Where are
Now you can bring the bread out, and those four points will form as we worship God and pray. Those will form the basis of our prayer tonight. Those four points, please let's make sure we have them on the screen. Please bring out your, your bread or time. In time, okay, to Zelia. Now, the Bible says, just where we have read before in the book of Luke, chapter 22. It says, and he took the cup and gave thanks. Uh, verse 15, and he said unto them, With desire have I desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will no more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom. In, in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take take this and divide it among yourself. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the wine, uh, of the vine until the kingdom of God uh, shall come. And he took the bread and gave thanks. Father, we thank you, and he break it, and gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. We partake in the name of God the Father, the name of God the Son, the name of God the Holy Spirit. Those of you at home, make sure you are following us, and those of you in the basement, anywhere you may be, Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. Now he said, which is shed for you. We partake in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and partake. And then begin to worship him, begin to pray in the spirit. You have a few minutes, and those four points you are going to use them as your prayer point. Why we also worship God, so we talk to you what you do with a few minutes that we have. The one, number one, divine visitation. Say, Lord, I desire divine visitation. As we visited Abraham, visit me. Number two, answer prayer. Say, Lord, I want to see evidence of answer prayer this way. Number three, divine secret. Brethren, the Bible says in the book of Amos chapter 3, I believe, verse 6 or verse 7, it said that the Lord will not do anything or can reveal it to his servant, the prophet. So, brethren, by the grace of God, I have enjoyed knowing the divine secret of what God wants to do with my life in here. The same thing can happen to that prayer number three. And then your last prayer is the partaker of the new covenant. Anything contrary that is speaking from your background, from your root, in the name of Jesus, this communion tonight comes to the go ahead. You have few minutes, you have few minutes. When is the time? I'll tell you it's over.
access as a point of contact to that you say, as I commune with you, I say my prayer concerning this.
tonight. Here's our offering tonight. Please, Lord Jesus, let this offering become a living memorial, a gateway to divine visitation tonight. Let it become the gateway to access to divine secret that will move your children forward. Let it become, oh my Father, <laughs> answers to prayers, long outstanding prayers. Lord Jesus, prayers that I see, it has been pending, it has seen you are giving up. Father, let this offering, by the reason of this communion tonight, Lord, let it become a point of contact. Lord Jesus, because we are partakers of the New Testament, Lord, by the reason of this offering tonight, by the reason of this communion tonight, and to Kalabaradia, as they say, anything contrary is speaking against your children, that they are removed, they are cancelled. Thank you, Father, for open doors. We give you praise. Thank you, ancient of this. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. amen. Say a glorious amen. amen. As the Lord bless you tonight, say a glorious amen. amen. As the Lord bless you tonight, say a glorious amen. amen. Take your seat briefly. Take your seat briefly. You know, one of the reasons why, my wife knows one of the reasons why we are singing this song. Good news, 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 This is the time she needs our help. This is the time she needs our support as a church. And God will bless the family. Amen. The coming in of this baby will bring me, will be the beginning of new things. Greater things in the name of Jesus. Greater things in the name of Jesus. I say greater things in the name of Jesus. And those of you that are rejoicing with them, greater things are coming for you. New doors are opening for you. I say new doors are opening for you. Thank you. We give you praise. So please don't forget this Friday we'll be having our our uh, Holy Ghost service by the grace of God. Also Wednesday we are going to be having our Bible study. Now I want you to stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. I pray for you in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Tonight the Lord will visit you. Unusual visitation you will enjoy tonight. As Abraham enjoyed and journey visitation, in fact, he prepared food for them, human food, and they ate it. In the name of 
of Jesus Christ. Tonight, my God will visit you. I pray for you tonight that every prayer that has been pending, as you partake of the communion tonight, as you rejoice, as you bless the name of the Lord, I pray for you, every pending prayer, they are answered already. Amen. They are answered already. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you, the secret you need to launch you into the realms of financial prosperity, the secret you need to launch you into the realm of good health, the secret you need for long life, the secret you need a solution to that problem, whatever thing tonight, the Lord will unveil them to you. Amen. Even as you are here now, the Lord is already unveiling them Amen. to you. I pray for you, whatever thing that may be contrary, that has been speaking against your destiny, whether by the reason of where you are coming from, or by the things that you have done, or the things that are contrary against your wife, against your husband, against your children, against your career, against your dream, tonight the blood of Jesus comes to them all. I said that tonight the blood of Jesus comes to them all. Talking for answer prayer. When God answers the prayer of a man, He gives them a token. Tonight, God will give you a token. Yeah. God will give you a token. Yeah. As you go in this week, this week will be your week of divine visitation. Yeah. As you praise God in this week, in this week will be your week of answer prayer. Yeah. As you praise God in this week, this week will be the week of divine secret for you. As you praise God, everything contrary against your destiny, against the plan of God for you and your family, in the name of Jesus, they are cancelled. Yeah. In this way, you'll be victorious. Yeah. Father, we thank you for in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Yeah. Say amen like you are receiving. Yeah. Say amen like you are receiving. Yeah. Amen. 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 Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. There's 14 you are going to tell to. There are three people. Now before you tell them, don't forget if you don't have the numbers of their Adego kids, get their number, reach out to them, send them messages, pray with them. And also, you know, uh, give baby a gift as well. Now, you are going to find three people and tell them, and say, in this way, my God will visit you. In this week, my God will answer your prayer. In this week, God will reveal to you divine secrets. In this week, anything contrary against your destiny, they are counseled. Find the second person and prophesy to their life. In this week, my God will visit you. In this week, my God will answer your prayer. In this week, the divine secrets you will have access to. Anything contrary to your destiny. And in this week, God counsel them. Now the last person say, in this week, God will visit you. In this week, God I will answer your prayer. In this week, you will have access to the divine secret. In this week, anything contrary to your destiny, they are counseled. Now give it to your neighbor. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Go home rejoicing and know that the Lord has answered your prayer. Amen. Amen.